Dave Sexton, I'm the RSVP Scotland's Mull Officer and we are on the Isle of Mull. Mull is amazing and very, very lucky to, to be based here. I think White Tailed Eagles have really put Mull on the wildlife map. You know, this was the first place that they nested. And for the first few years, we were obviously trying to keep things fairly quiet and secret because there was still a risk from egg collectors. But increasingly, more and more people wanted to come. And then television programs started happening. So suddenly, the boats were full of people wanting to see this bird. My name's Ewan Miles. I own Nature Scotland on the Isle of Mull. So we provide wildlife tours on the island. We take guests out to these wonderful habitats and we look for things like white-tailed eagles, golden eagles, otters, hen harriers. Eagles in general, they're this iconic species which, you know, you get polar bears in the Arctic, you get tigers in India, you get lions in Africa. Eagles are just this emblematic species which people want to see, you could say they're the icing on the cake, you know, the top of the food pyramid and white-tailed eagles, you know, complete the ecosystems. All of a sudden, Ewan stopped the car and said, white-tailed eagle, and got the binoculars on it and it was my first ever one and I had quite an emotional response to seeing it as well. It was just beautiful, it was just, you know, watching it soaring up in the sky, it just was something that took me by surprise and uh, stopped me from talking for a while, which is quite unusual. <laughs> it's a real privilege to, you know, make someone's day, make someone's week, make someone's year even by seeing a wild eagle, seeing a white-tailed eagle or a golden eagle, and um, yeah, it's 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 great. It's the perks of the job. The income that white-tailed eagle tourism is bringing to Mull now is, is pretty incredible, really. Um, and people are realising that, you know, they're seeing it. They're, it's people spending money on fuel, uh, in shops, ferries, accommodation. That's where the money's going. Um, and white-tailed eagles are helping to do that. My name is Martin Kivers, I'm the owner and skipper with Multiartis. Over the years the white-tailed eagles have become really important to Multiartis. Uh, when we first started 14 years ago, uh, we used to do all sorts of other things, take people to small islands, go fishing, general wildlife watching trips and over the years we've developed into just almost a specialist white-tailed eagle boat trip. see one approaching you to within sort of 10 metres of the boat and grabbing a fish, that's just something else. To see the reaction on people's faces when they first see the white-tailed eagles is just a joy really. Um, it ranges from people bursting into tears, joy, but usually it's just sort of a silent awe as people just see the birds approaching the boat for the first time. It's, uh, it's just great. We've had people right from babes in arms to sort of octogenarians and beyond. Uh, people just come from all different walks of life. 
a lot of people come for a week or two weeks or a couple of days and wildlife is the, the big focus. But whilst they're here, they do other things as well. They eat in restaurants, buy fuel from the petrol stations, go to the sh local shops and stay in self-catering. So it's, uh, it has big knock-on effects for the whole island, really. This is a very special place. It's called Loch Nakiel, and it's in the heart of the territory of the very first pair that nested um, on Mull, in fact, in Scotland in 1985. This is where it all began. Mull's now got 22 pairs of sea eagles. Um, you know, from that one pair in 1985, it's grown steadily. It's such a relief and, and uh, just a huge honour now to be able to share this spectacular bird with everyone else who wants to see it.